All right. What we're looking at is at my neighbor's yard. And what that is, is where an armadillo has been trying to find him something to eat. So, if you see these little holes all in your yard, just know it's an armadillo. And I'm going to pan around here a little bit. This is at the neighbor's house. And we're going to go over here. It's just a few yards away. There's another spot right in front of that. Another spot. There's another spot. So this guy's hungry. Look at him all over the place. I had to... Let's see here. Well... I just cut the grass today, and I noticed my lawnmower kept hitting these holes in our yard. There's another hole there. And uh, so, obviously, we have an armadillo problem. Now, they're nocturnal, so usually they're not out during the daytime. I see them every now and again. Yeah, there's another one there. So, I see them out every now and again in the daytime, but usually they're at, out at night. And so what we're going to do is we're going to try and catch this guy. And what I've put together is this. Out in the middle of her yard, and this is her backyard, I've got a live tr As I was saying, what I've done is I, I've put me some temporary walls up leading to uh, this live trap. So uh, in the night, if the armadillo bumps into one of these walls, he's just going to follow it, kind of like a mouse would. And uh, once he does, he's going to follow it right into that trap, hopefully, and then we'll have him caught, and we'll know something in the morning time. But it's just set up out here in her yard. There's her shed, and there's a brush pile, and then, of course, there's woods behind our properties. I've got a hair on this. So that's what we've done, and that's it. There's no food or nothing you need to put in there. You just need to, to set him up. Like I said, I mean... Now, what I can show you is, if this was a house, basically, you would just set it up against the side of the house like that. And you could even bring a board, you know, off of here. And what it, that'll do is that'll, that'll coach him in on the side of the house. He'll just kind of walk right through it. But, like I said, what I've done is I've set, just set up two boards, staked them in the ground, and kind of made my own wall there, I guess. And then... And then I've got it set up in there. So, all right. So we'll call this setting up for day one of armadillo or armadillo take one. All right. Day two. I've got the uh, trap set up for the armadillo and we've got nothing. So we'll check back with you later. All right, we are day three. Still no armadillo, but I can see where he's been. You see that dark spot in the grass? I just cut this grass the other day. And you can see there's another spot right there. Look past there, you can see yeah, there's a spot there, a spot there. So he's out here, and I did notice in her front yard that I got hair in my mouth. Hang on. I did notice in the front yard that he's been out there too. And I've got the gates closed, so I don't know if that's keeping him out there or not, but we'll see. All right, well, we are on day four. Still no armadillo. Uh, I was on the two family homestead live stream last night and uh, Big Bear Homestead was on there and he recommended uh, that maybe I extend these, basically is what he's saying. Not knowing that I've already got this set up, but maybe to uh, extend those boards another six feet in either direction and uh, see if that does anything. But I might do that. I might not. I don't know. Uh, armadillo could be gone. I'm not seeing any new signs of it. Although, I mean, I see signs of it, but the last I saw, it was in the front yard and the backyard. Well, I've got it all gated off, so he might not be able to get back here. So I left the gate open 
to see if he'd come back here. But I haven't seen him. I've been out here at all different hours of the night. I haven't seen Armadillo. So that just might be the end of it. But we'll keep you posted.